iPadOS 26 redefines what an iPad is. It brings the best features that we've always loved and used on the Mac to the iPad. That's why in this video, I wanted to show you everything that's new, over 50 new features and changes in iPadOS 26. I can assure you that by the end of this video, you'll learn about features that you just didn't know about. Let's start everything off with the revamped windowing system. So now with iPadOS 26, you'll get this little tab right here that now, if you simply do like this and swipe it up and down, you'll now have a windowing system on iPad. Now for the first time ever, we can simply hold on the top of the window and place the window wherever we want on the screen, even off screen, which is a feature that we've always had on the iPad. So now the window won't just snap, you'll be able to freely move it wherever you want. And then Apple has also added a new gesture that if you simply kind of like just throw it like that, you'll have it snap on the left side of the screen. And then if you want to quickly add a new one, you simply swipe it right here to the right. So now you'll have two full on windows running side by side. You can then adjust the windows just by holding on the middle and placing them wherever you want on screen. And then what's nice is that if you want to go to the home screen, your apps, your open windows will stay right here. And then if you want to quickly access them again, they will stay right here. Look how easy it is. Now, if you have an Apple Magic Keyboard or by simply connecting a mouse, as you can see, Apple has also updated the cursor. It kind of looks more like the one on the Mac on standard computers from today days. And I love it so much more before it was this random circle that didn't really make any sense, but now it just feels way much more precise. Now, as you can see here on the top left, Apple has also added the window controls, just like on the Mac, but finally on the iPad. So you can close an app just like that. You can also make an app full screen or you can simply minimize the app and you can open it again. Now this feature changes everything whenever you're using a monitor. It's just extremely useful. And then if you go up to the top, you'll see a brand new menu bar just like once again, I feel like I'm going to say this a lot in this video, just like on the Mac, but now on the iPad. If you're using the iPad by touch, you can simply swipe down just a tiny bit and you'll get the menu bar and you'll get all the features that you have on the Mac. For example, adding a new private window on Safari, you could you know, have all the edit controls, the view controls, your previous history, in this case on Safari, et cetera, even help, which is a very nice feature to have on the iPad. Now, third-party developers will be able to use this feature, but in any Apple app has it. For example, on files, you can you know, create a new window just like that. You can change the view. So for example, if you want the list view on files, you can do it all directly with the menu bar on iPad. I am just so happy about these features you can't even begin to understand. While we're inside of files, let me show you as well the new features inside of the files app. So we can now resize our little notifications. So for example, I can tap on these three dots right here and I can now add different types of filtering inside of files. Once again, just like on the Mac, for example, the type of kind of file and I can resize them depending on the way that I want it to look. And I can also change the order. Let's say I want kind first and then size, boom, just like that. I can also order by kind, just like on the Mac. I can also change the way that folders look just by right clicking or by simply holding. If you're using your finger, for example, I can tap customize folder. I can add an emoji right here and I can also change the color of the folder by simply scrolling to the bottom. And then I can change the color of the folder by simply adding a tag. Let's add this yellow one right here. And as you can see, I've now added a different color for the folder. Isn't that amazing? Let's hold on this one right here. I'm going to make this one red, for example, by simply changing the tag right here. Just these small two changes on the files app kind of changes everything for me on the way that I use it. Something else that's incredible about it is, let's say I use this folder a lot on my iPad. I can now add this folder to my dock. So now whenever I go to my dock, as you can see, I can now add folders inside of my dock. And if I have a single folder like this one, the folder will open. I can directly open a specific folder from the dock, which is just game changing. If you hold on the folder itself, you can also have some customization, whether you want to sort the folder by kinds of files, whether you want to display it by fan or by grid. In this case, you can also scroll down directly from the dock, or you can also have some different options to just remove it from the dock, just like that. Now, the obvious first thing that you're going to see whenever you update to iPadOS 26 later on this year is its gorgeous new design. We have liquid glass all over the UI, which looks gorgeous. And the redesign is all over the UI in every single app. For example, as you can see, this liquid glass type of floating 
um, icon right here, which is very, very satisfying. The liquid glass all over the UI as well. And even there's now a new way to customize your icons now. So you now have default, which is the colorful icons that we're always used to. The dark one, which I've shown you before in the channel, but the clear one is the one that's brand new to iPad OS 26. It is gorgeous the way that this looks. Even the windows, as you can see, it even refracts the light. And as you can see, it is totally transparent. It's got transparency all over all the icons, which looks gorgeous. And Apple has also updated the tinted. So now the tinted icons, as you can see, since it's translucent, since it has this liquid type of design, any icons will look incredible, especially if you place them um, very similar looking to the wallpaper itself, just like that. I mean, this looks way, way better than iOS 18. The lock screen has also had a slight redesign because now you can change the way that your time looks. You can make it way smaller, or in my case, I love it way, way bigger. It looks incredible. Now, before I tell you even more new features inside of iPad OS 26, if you've got an iPad and you're still using a random case from Amazon, you need to stop because Zugu has been perfecting this one thing for over 15 years. And it truly shows. This is by far the most complete case I've ever seen for the iPad. Zugu calls it the one case for every single situation. You get a multi-angle magnetic kickstand. It kind of just locks into place for watching videos, illustrating, typing, drawing, you also get military grade protection. It's been drop tested. It's got very, very solid corners. And if your iPad does break, Zugo will literally pay for your iPad repair, which is wild. The Apple Pencil also has a very nice spot for it, which will obviously wirelessly charge. And there's also this elastic slot. Just in case you're worried your Apple Pencil might fall off. We've all been there digging through our backpack trying to find our Apple Pencil. And it overall just feels like a very premium case. If we're talking about materials, it's honestly something Apple would make. It's sleek, minimal, and overall just built to last. And Zoo is not even close to done. To celebrate their 15th anniversary, they're launching not one, not two, but three new products this year. A 360 case with portrait and landscape mode, which is perfect for multitasking with your iPhone and iPad side by side. A kid's case, so it can survive pretty much anything. And this limited edition color with matching bumper. So look, you honestly deserve better than a random $15 case on Amazon. Check out Zoo in the links in the description and keep an eye out for their 2025 launches because they are going to be Big. Thank you, Zugu, so much for sponsoring this portion of this video. We also get a bunch of new apps on iPadOS 26. For example, the infamous and extremely famous preview app finally comes to the iPad, which is the best way to open PDFs on iPad now. You've got tons of new features inside of the preview app. For example, the ability to just mark up and write things inside of a PDF. You've also got a um, markdown. So let's say I want to add um, some text inside of here. I can quickly add it just like that. Once you add that, you've got the possibility to add a signature, which is one of the features that I just love to have preview on the Mac. It's just such an easy way to do it. I can simply modify it and then add it at my signature just like that. This is in my real signature, by the way. And there's obviously so much more to the preview app. I'm very happy about it, which by the way, um, something else that's new that I just remembered now is now the Files app now allows us to open with. So as you can see, this is a PDF, so I can either open it now with Preview, with Books, with Pixelmator, or with Procreate before it just kind of opened a random app. But now you can decide where you wanna open that file with, which in terms of PDF, it will default everything to Preview. iPadOS 26 also brings background download tasks to the iPad. So let's say I'm downloading this file right now from WeTransfer. I can tap on download and it will show up as a live activity. So now I can start doing other things and the file will keep on downloading. And if I want to add a different file um, download, it will show up as both. As you can see I can dismiss it. And then if I want to quickly see how the downloads are doing, I can quickly tap on that icon right there. This is a game changer for video editors or for people who just download a lot, a lot of files. This is just so good. Now, Apple has also brought a couple other apps as I was talking about, starting off with Journal. Now, the Journal app is finally on the iPad, which was an app that a lot of um, Apple users wanted. It is way much more built for the iPad since you can use the Apple Pencil to write hand-drawn notes. You've got a bunch of different options right here, like journaling suggestions. You've also got the, the ability to add images, take a photo add a location, even add a voice message, or even add your state of mind to log how you're feeling in that moment. Now, as I said, Apple decided to wait a little bit more because they really wanted to make something special. Now, what's special about this is that you can add handwritten notes as a journal. So you can start journaling directly, you know, with handwritten notes, which kind of changes 
um, everything. You can see how many entries you've done, your insights on how many days you've journaled throughout the year. It's incredible the way that it works with the iPhone app because on the iPhone app, it's different and unique since it actually works with the Apple Watch and with your workouts. And then um, with the iPad, it kind of works more with the Apple Pencil and you can work with both side by side, which makes the journal app very special now. Apple has also launched a brand new app, which is Apple Games. Now with Apple Games, it's basically the home for all gaming on iPad. You can browse through all of the games that you've got installed on your iPad. You can see what your friends are currently playing. You've also got your Apple Arcade right here, so you can download and preview all of the games that are available inside of Apple Arcade. Apple's also launched a new Play Together, so you can start playing online with your different friends and family. You can decide to pick a game and then invite your friends. You can both play online different gaming. And then Library is the last tab, which will basically show you all the apps that you've got downloaded or you've already paid for inside all um, in this one very clean looking design. I feel like Apple is really pushing gaming here and I can't wait to see where, where Apple takes Apple gaming towards the future. Apple's also brought a brand new app to the iPad, which is the phone app. The phone app that we're always used to on the iPhone now brought to the iPad. Now this kind of replaces the FaceTime app because you can also technically FaceTime people directly from the phone app. It's honestly the app that I will be using from now on. You've also got a trackpad right here so you can directly call someone just like that. You've got your different contact posters right here and then you've got all your previous calls just all in one app, just like on the iPhone. Thank you, Apple, for adding this as well. Apple has also revamped the iMessage app. Um, there's a lot of customization to be had here. For example, you can add different backgrounds to your iMessage chats, for example, different color ones, so you can switch between different styles. You've got a bunch of different backgrounds to choose from. Let's tap on the sky ones, and then you can swipe between different styles, and then they actually move, which is pretty nice. And then once you wanna decide on one, you can simply tap on the, and then as you can see, the background kind of moves and shifts, which looks absolutely stunning. There's also suggestions on different backgrounds right here in the bottom. You can also generate custom backgrounds using Apple Intelligence. So using Image Program, I just added Desert, for example, as an example. And boom, just like that, this background has been generated by Apple Intelligence. Instead of Apple Notes, we also get a brand new tool, which is the Read Pen tool. So I can quickly draw just so I can show you the way that it looks. I love, love the way that it just darkens because that's how it looks like in real life. I just love the way that this one looks right here. It's basically like a calligraphy tool, which looks absolutely stunning. You can obviously change the color for it depending on what you want. The FaceTime app has also been slightly redesigned. It now shows us our posters right here on the left, having a way much cleaner look. You can now also pin playlists or albums inside of Apple Music. If we go up to the top on Apple Music inside of the iPad, it will show up right here under library for easy access for your favorite artist or playlist. Very cool new feature. You've also got auto mix inside of Apple Music, which basically mixes the last seconds of the song and will match the beat of the previous song and the next song. And it will basically have this DJ like experience, which works extremely well. So that's it for everything that's new inside of iPad OS 26. If you want to learn everything that's new in iOS 26 or watch OS 26, you can tap on these videos or you can hit subscribe if you found value out of this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.